rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say I'm a 10. 10. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> Whenever I hear a young lady off the bat say that she's an automatic 10, I think that she's telling us that she's essentially Cinderella. And so if you go back to the Cinderella story, you know that the story ends here where Cinderella's in the, you know, ball dress, but it starts here. As a matter of fact, if you go back and watch the whole movie, the, the original Disney movie, she is essentially in these clothes for the great duration of the movie. And for the first half of the movie, she's just cleaning and working. Now, it's interesting because when I think about the, when I say microwave Cinderella, Cinderella always ends up here. And the focus of young ladies, I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm beautiful, I'm perfect. It's, I'm in Cinderella mode at the ball. Revisiting the story, it starts with a far, far away kingdom and all that, blah, blah, blah. But the story goes, her father remarried a woman and this woman had two stepsisters. And when the father died, she was left with the stepsisters and she was by them. And she was forced to be a servant in her own home. Now, this is a really interesting sentence about Cinderella that I think gets lost when we think of what Cinderella really is. And yet through it all, Cinderella remained ever gentle and kind. In a sense, she was modest. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? I'm a 10. A 10? Yeah. That's like flawless though. Yeah, I am flawless. This is cover art from a Cinderella remake that Amazon did. And look at the cover art, what it suggests. She's smirking at the camera. She's, she's a bad bee. And in a way, what Cinderella has come to represent is skip the humble part, skip the part where she was doubting if she could be beautiful or have a chance to go to the ball. Just boom, instant. I'm a 10. Boom. And that's exactly what you see in the picture. I'm a 10. A 10? Yeah. That's like flawless, though. Yeah, I am flawless. The main antagonist in the story, of course, is the stepmother. And of course, she's helped with the two stepsisters. But what's interesting about Cinderella is Essentially, she is a 10, but she doubts that she's a 10. And she kind of acts all the way through the story as if I think I'm beautiful. I hope I get a chance, but it's not an overt. I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm a 10. I know I'm a bad B. It's interesting that in recent tellings of the story or the way that people portray Cinderella is that the whole of the movie starts at basically the ball i'm the bad b look at me i'm a 10. i'm a 10. a 10? yeah that's like flawless though yeah i am flawless the interesting thing to me about cinderella is that the movie starts out basically the first half of the movie is her being dutiful to her stepsisters and her stepmother even though they're treating her really poorly she's still dutiful she's respectful she does her job and in essence, she is a 10, but she doesn't know it. And if you ask guys, which is more attractive, a 10 that thinks she's a 10 or a 10 who thinks she's a six or a nine who thinks she's a five, that's what guys go crazy over. And it seems interesting because in today's culture, it just seems like young ladies have just forgotten the fact that a little bit of humility is just something that just drive guys crazy. And if you have a society full of young ladies who all think they're tens, they all think they're perfect. I mean, it's just a turnoff. There's nothing attractive to that. Just food for thought, the kind of things I think about when I'm going about my day. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care guys.